Hi, today I wanted to talk about the pandemic and the impact on families, specifically their mental health and well-being. Finances are a huge problem right now. People are jobless. People um, are not able to see people. Isolation is a huge problem. And children are impacted because their whole schedule and routine are upended. So we have seen a higher base rate of anxiety and depression. And how do I know this is depression versus anxiety? And so you would know because beyond the stress of what's happening, your functioning starts to change. You don't want to get out of bed for multiple days at a time. You don't want to pay your bills. You won't pay your bills. Your children um, may be behaving in ways that are irritable, angry. So there are many things you can do to get help um, during the pandemic and, and to, to keep resilience alive in your households. And, and don't forget about the most basic things, eating well, staying on a routine as much as possible, showing your children, uh, modeling good behavior. I sleep on time, today I'm very stressed, but I'm going to go out for a walk. I'm gonna do it safely, but I'm still going to exercise. Modeling good coping skills for your children. The other thing is to just provide reassurance that if people get sick, that you will go and get treatment and that treatment is available when people get ill. Because part of this um, stress is an ambiguity of just not knowing anything. When will school start? When will the pandemic end? And of course we can't give those answers, but we can reassure that our family is gonna do our best to get through this. Even if we, you know, even if we have to play inside on a rainy day all together, <laughs> you know, I think it's important to sound like you are able to reassure you know, your family, especially younger kids.